they got caught again. Where's Scooby Doo? Where are you? Over here! <laughs> Way to go, Scooby! Like, yeah, you snagged the snail! Chinky, Scooby, you're the greatest. Thanks, Velma! Congratulations, kids! You captured the snail monster. But who is it? Like, it's Ivan Orton. He was mad and wanted the money that you owed him. No, Shaggy, it's Engelbert Newton. You're both wrong. The monster has got to be Red Herring. Forget it, Jones. It wasn't me. Oh, and uh, by the way, you're Weenie Central. Thanks, Dinkley. Anytime, Red. Actually, the creature is none other than Lester Leonard. <sighs> I first suspected it was Lester when I recognized that the electrical tape Scooby found was the same tape the snail monster used on his hockey stick. I then noticed the Ghoul Gone logo on the monster's hockey puck. And the movie projector we found at the Statue of Liberty was the same one Lester had in his office. Oh, I get it. Leonard faked capturing the monsters to keep Ghoul Gone a big success. Yeah, the more famous Ghoul Gone was, the more merchandise he could sell. I love my plunger. Like he would have made a fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you kids and that stupid puppy. <laughs> Ew. Anyone who crawls into a slimy snail suit deserves to go to jail. Well, gang, since Scooby's nose is glowing, this mystery is officially solved. <laughs> Thanks to the Scooby-Doo Detective Agency, Critter Getters is back in business. Just doing our job, Julie. How would Shaggy and Scooby like to be the first ones to try our new Critter Getters pizza? Like you got it. <laughs> We'd be honored. Like, oh boy, Scooby. Double oh boy. Like, you know, there are some kinds of critters I don't mind sharing with my pal. A pup named Scooby Dooby Doo. 